Welcome back y'all. Today I'm setting up my classroom for March Madness. Actually I call it Math Madness, but I'll show you all the stations that I'm going to use and all the decorations and of course everything will be linked in the description. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Are you done? Nope. All of these things that I hang from my ceiling, I actually save them every single year so that I don't have to buy new ones. So they're easy to reuse. I just stick them in my ceiling tiles and then every time when it's over, we just go and take them all down and put them neatly in a bag so they don't get all um, tangled. Paige is getting ready to set up the balloon arch. She's an expert at balloon arches, mm. just you wait. Shoot and solve. It's kind of like a game some of you might be familiar with. I'll, <laughs> I'll show you it once it's set up. But this is one of the games that we play. I have different math problems that I will tape to the bottoms of the cups and we'll set them up and then they shoot and if they score, then they solve. Hence the name shoot and solve. These are just little frisbees I got. I'm pretty sure from Amazon maybe. And you put them on, I just put them on the tables and then I just put a basket on it. It's kind of like decoration, but you can use the baskets for anything. These right now have prizes in them. This one has another banner that I've used before and I'm reusing. If you're a teacher, you're on a budget, I'm sure, but it is very helpful just to reuse everything. So most of this stuff I bought my first year and I've been using every year since, except for the balloon arch, obviously. And then here's a little basketball hoop that you can hook on to like a, a basket or a trash can or something. The little problems that I use on the bottoms of the cups, so I'll put them. And then here's just a little trick that I use. I stamp the back of them with a different stamp each time, so this one just says 100%. They say different things, this one says, oh, well this one's a pizza. <laughs> but that way, when they all get mixed up and it's like, I don't know which one goes where, look at the back and you just find the stamp that matches it. And then for like prizes for games and stuff, you know, it helps them be a little more motivated when you give them prizes. But these are just like basketball themed stickers that they can win and earn by staying on task, winning their game, whatever you wanna do to help encourage positive behavior. And then these are like beach balls, but basketballs. And then I just have some tablecloths that I'm gonna put on the tables that are orange and black to kind of go with the theme. Let's check on our friends. Miss Hennigan, how's it going? Great. Oh, this is so cute. Thanks. Her and all her fans. Yes. She recruited help. Hello. Hey, finally. We're not alone. Yeah. Hello, Miss Laker. Hello. Oh, she's got all her things ready to go. You can tell our decorations are very similar because math girlies. Yay. How's it going? Can you actually like catch it and it still spin? Well, I'm not going for doesn't look bad. I'm going for looks. And then you're going to lose camera privileges. Keep going. Camera's rolling. <laughs> I think we'll be able to cover it. Can I use one of your staplers? Sure. Where is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need one that opens? Yes. Parkour! <laughs> Can you believe she played college yeah. soccer? I am. Not me. Just... Dude, <laughs> is this how we're doing it? That's what we're doing. No, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> We have to tie them together. That seems complicated. <laughs> it said, actually, shout out to Mel, it actually works. You do it like this, and then they're stuck together, and then you'll get the next set and you'll put them together. Do not tie it. Do not. <laughs> Stop! Maybe choke on my spit. <laughs> I don't know if I want them in just color blocks. I mean, we can do whatever. You want to mix them? We have all the mini ones too that we can. 
pass that around. You can no, I don't want them mixed. <laughs> you just said. You don't want them mixed, they don't want the same. Well, Why I don't want to tie them mixed. Why? If we're not going to. No, 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 mix them up more. Why not? Because then the ones that are already together are the same. Yeah, you can have some the same, some mixed. <laughs> that looks so bad. No, it doesn't. Yeah, you need to be consistent. The one doing, you're just tying. <laughs> no, I'm blowing. <laughs> I'm not tying. Am I mixing these? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Those are already tied, they have to be mixed. Okay. Need more balloons? <laughs> Make two oranges. <laughs> Who is it? Luca, baby. <laughs> I'll make sure to tag him. We have all of the balloons blown up. And now, Campbell loves a good poster. And then Paige is getting the string ready. And then we will go ahead and start stringing them together. And I think our goal is to put it like right where those colorful paper fan things are. I think when you weave it in and out, like you need to like shuffle them down and move them around. <laughs> I don't feel so good. <laughs> Great work! Well, how's it look? Even closer to the ceiling? We can go higher once. No, it's, no, I'm saying like it needs to like... Yeah, it can go higher. Yeah, it can go higher. Uh, hurry! <laughs> you can drop it while I'm fixing this. Please! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Do we need one at the very end, do you think? No. So just three? Because this will be the bottom. And especially because it has to... People watching are going to get seasick. That's going to pull away from the wall anyway, probably. Just like book shelves and everything. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. I hope you guys didn't get motion sick. Wow, 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 wow. You can hold it. I'm trying. It's balloons, Campbell. And you're not even holding all of it. I'm holding all of it. You're so dramatic. Campbell's side is higher. Okay, wait, no. Move oh. Maddie to the right some more, at least. Maddie to the right. Not Campbell. That? Well, Campbell needs to go, too. Oh, jeez. Dude, <laughs> give me one. Don't hit it. <laughs> Don't. I won't. <laughs> You're so dumb. Don't hit it. I won't. <laughs> seriously. Okay, seriously. Don't. Seriously. <laughs> We are all done setting up, so now I'm gonna go around the room and kind of show you what some of the stations are and how the kids are gonna play them. At this station, it's actually just gonna be a worksheet that they're doing with their group about dot plot and stem plots. 
And then this is shoot and solve. So it's just an answer document. And they will have cups over here and cups over here and then the ping pong balls that they will use. So the students will stand on the side, they will shoot their ping pong ball and if they make it in a cup, the other team has to solve. And if the other team scores, then they'll look at the problems on the bottom and they will solve the ones on the bottom of the cup. Okay. And we would have to solve that one. Great job. This is where they're going to be making a bar graph and a frequency table. Each of these lines on the ground will tell them how many points their shot is worth. One point, two points, three points. And if they're feeling confident, five points. Let's give it a go. Okay, and that would be a wasted turn. <laughs> Here, this is where I'm gonna have my early finishers if they finish the other stations. It is a Math Madness bracket where they're gonna tell me which fraction is larger and it will go to the middle and then they will compare the two that are the largest and they will tell me which fraction of all the ones on the paper is the largest, AKA the winner. Okay, thank you. <laughs> this is going to be a coordinate table mystery picture, so it'll give them ordered pairs that they're going to solve. They will point the plots. It tells them when to connect the lines and when to, um, you're distracting me, when to stop, and then they'll color it in, and it will make a mystery picture at the end of it. And then the last thing they're going to have is actually going to be on a Google... <laughs> On a Google Sheets, it's a mystery picture. So basically what they will do is they will answer, it's all operations decimal, and then they will type in their answer. And if it's correct, part of the mystery picture will pop up. And if it is incorrect, then nothing will pop up. So by the end of it, they should have the whole picture finished. But overall, the room is, thank you, Campbell, finished. Here is the finished product. Balloon Arch was a time. How are we feeling? Good. You're gonna come play basketball with my students? Dunk on all your students. Okay, shoot on the five. See if you can get it. With this? Sure. 